guys, so I'm back with another MUA video. It's an updated one, so if you want to stay tuned, and you should stay tuned, then keep watching. Okay guys, so first I'm starting on with the Hide and Conceal Concealer. It's just the Stick Concealer. I think it is a bit light for me. Concealer, I like it does the job. Maybe it's a bit light for me, but it conceals, hides the bags. It's all good. Next, I'm taking the Hydro Skin Define Foundation with Vitamin E and Jehovah. So it's very moisturising. So this would be good for someone with dry skin because it's just very hydrating. AKA, it does give you a very dewy look. This is Hydro, so it's very dewy. I don't like dewy foundation. I would buy it again. It's very good, it's just the dewiness. It's very, very dewy. Okay, so let's blend it in. One thing I love about MUA is I do match perfectly my face. I'm not too light, I'm not too dark. Even though on camera, that's a whole different story. Next, I'm going to take the Set and Reflect. Talk about reflecting. Finishing kit. It's a highlighter and setting powder in one. So I'm taking this setting powder again in a white colour. Okay, so let's move on to the brows. I bought a new product called Power Brow. So I've really tried the pencil and the gel. This is a 3-in-1 brow definer. It is in the colour Auburn. The colours were really weird and half of them was open. But the woman said Auburn would be fine for me. Okay, so the gold bit is the spoolie end. Oh, nice spoolie. Then you have definitely three in one because there's a thing in the middle. Oh, okay. It's like a sponge applicator. And then here you've got the pencil type. Interesting. So let's see how this is going to work. Can you not? Ha can this not happen? That woman light because that is going on super super light a very orangey light brown and my hair is dark so thanks for nothing C can you can you see this it looks way worse in person it matches the end of my hair but definitely doesn't match the top of my hair brows what the hell was with the brows there is no brunette and it's either black or auburn it's not like them putting them on it felt like wax just like slicking them down you can't make a tail with them because the color is just so off and then because it's three in like three in one it has a powder the powder is just don't even use powder it's like a sponge type applicator with a powder it's really weird wouldn't recommend I'm not happy about this. I think I'm going to take a picture at the end. I think I'm going to take a picture of my eyebrows at the end just to show you how ridiculous they are. They are so, so light. <laughs> Moving on. Next, I'm using... What? Can I just give up? I'm out of focus. If <gasps> this is just squared everywhere. Oh my God. Why is everything going wrong? So next I'm taking the Daybreaker palette, it decided it wanted to come off its hinges. This is a contour and highlight palette. So there's only actually two eyeshadows in there. These don't have names and it's a limited edition palette so you won't be able to get it anyways. For a eyeshadow, this is a good compact because you've got a highlighter, you've got a contour, you've got a blush, you've got eyeshadow but for me, just not a fan. That's maybe why it was free, where you spend £10 or more, and why it's limited edition. Next, I'm taking contour in Sienna. I originally wanted this brush though, but they didn't have it. But Sienna looks quite an alright colour. So let's see how this goes. It's actually a conceal and cover kit, so you could use it as concealer. But I'm going to try and pick a shade to clean contour with. I used to use Surprise, surprise, I used to contour with cream 
products before I found powder and I found powder and I found it so easy you can't even see it in my skin like it's just disappeared straight away cream takes forever to blend out but I find it so blendable you've got different types of dark wool and cool shades not a strong contour as what I normally have a powder but I like it and there are day darker shades I use this shades but these this one's really ready warm but this one's a tiny bit cooler and this one's just a, a little bit lighter Okay, that's a lot darker. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So that's it for the contour. It's very natural, I like it. Next we're going back to this Set and Reflect palette because... Palette. Okay. Now we're going to take the highlighter. It is white and it's got a lot of gold reflect Did you see that? the highlight and powder duo I think this is really good I would definitely recommend it it's bomb bomb diggity bomb I'm putting this on very lightly let me just build it up I'm not getting much on the brush there that's what we're talking about That's what I'm talking about. This is the free motion you need to do. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm doing there. Maybe I should take some of the blush and just see if that does anything. Mm. Don't know if I'm feeling that. This palette is very dusty. I mean, pretty but it's not a blush I'll go for so let's move on to the eyes so we're gonna take a voluminous fat eyeliner and try and apply it look at this bad boy it's so fat doesn't even look like I've got any eyeshadow on eyeliner don't like it it's too fat definitely recommend the precision one the gold one way better okay so apply the eyeliner one they look nothing like two do not like the eyeliner, it's just so fat, it's hard to work with. When they're thinner, you can at least make it fat, but when it's really fat, you can't. It's hard to make a thin line. Let's take mascara in I Define. Mascara, it's good, but I prefer the Lift and Curl one way more better. We you want to side them and put the video on. We are literally filming a video. Okay, so that is done. Last but not least, let's move on to lips. This is, I think it's limited edition. It is a Glitz Metallic Liquid Lips. I tried to stay away from red, but last video was red lips. Let's see how this goes. I should probably look in the mirror, so I can't apply. It smells really nice. I can't apply lipstick for the life of me. It's got a weird smell to it. It's not sweet. It smells like fresh leather. I know them cards. I know them people cards you get into and it just has that subtle sweetness to it. Probably sound like a weirdo. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. I'm wrapping it up here because it's been the one big mess. This looks very different to my first Emmy way. I'm surprised at some products and I'm not surprised. And so I'm gonna end the video here and yeah, lips. Metallic lips, it's not bad. It doesn't dry down, but it is a metallic liquid lip. And overall, I'm happy with the look. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.